Kate Word and welcome again to my channel here at Kate Word Art. You'll see that I love mixed media, texture, hard edges, geometry, collage, painting and layers, making my own papers with my jelly plate, and today I'm printmaking on my new 16 by 20 jelly plate. So stay tuned. It's going to be a little different. The same, only different. <laughs> um, I want to thank Fulton for sending me such a beautiful print. I'll show it to you here in just a minute. Uh, I've already done some collage on it. He sent me the digital file of it before I did the collage, so I'll show it to you as a before and after in the end. But these are the collage elements that I added, and uh, now I'm going to, I'm just going to add a little bit of my own touch here. Um, the only reason being that I, I want to add some of this green color to this side. And my plan is to just lightly stencil, pounce with a sponge around this wonderful stencil that was designed by my artist friend and uh, longtime mentor, Judy Woods, in New Zealand. And so uh, that's what I'm going to do next. So let's get ready. Thank you, Fulton, again, for this beautiful print that you sent to me as a gift to Kate, one of one, 2023. Okay, here we go. I didn't show you um, a couple of short videos. I didn't show you that pouncing the green gold paint around that stencil. I, I thought perhaps many of you already know how to pounce around the stencil. And there were a couple of applications of a metallic gold that I used a fluid acrylic paint that really didn't, it dried very quickly here in my humid, a hot, dry, well, it's not dry, it's hot and humid climate. So um, I just, I didn't want to bore you with that. This is my longest video yet at 30 minutes and I just I sped this up and I, I didn't want to include some of that. So here you see uh, my stencil placements. That's actually a mask in the upper right corner, that purple mask. All of the masks that, that you see here are covering metallic gold placements that I, I really want to keep. I'm using Naples Yellow Light from Amsterdam. And most of these lighter colors, like the whites and the off-whites, are more opaque. And that's what I'm wanting to do, is to create some opaque uh, coverage around these placements. And uh, I'm going to be using my trusty comb here real quick. I love these linear, undulating linear marks. You'll see later in the video that I used some of my own mark making tools also, some pencils. And um, there's an early registration video that Fulton has that was very helpful in doing the registration of this print making episode, um, getting the, the measurements. Fulton signs the bottom of his prints and so he allows for that in the in the registration. And I, I needed to see that so that I could uh, perfect, not perfectly, but align my, my registration according to his. And 
here you see me dabbing a, a few little spots where I had a few blobs. You have to be careful doing that so that you don't smear some of your paint. But, and here we go, we're going to pull a print. Okay, uh, here you're going to see me pointing out to you that I don't really think I'm going to use the white uh, ground of the copy paper for my collage pieces anymore. I don't think that, I think there's too much contrast and some of the paint colors that I've used don't really cover very well. Um, and you can also see some of the the stenciled area where I pounced around with the green go color you can really you can see that in this in this slide but um, most of it gets lost in the end there's a little bit that peeks through so here you see again some of the same or similar placements uh, another arrangement of stencils to introduce I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do some turquoise and another blue here, and I'm only gonna do it on my left side of the uh, the viewing left, uh, and I'm gonna add some vermilion and I think it's an azo orange, but again the mask area at the top to protect those areas that I that I don't want to be uh, lost. And I'm only doing it on this side because I'm, I'm working to protect that other half that is Fulton's um, still Fulton's print that he's he's given to me. I want to reserve some of that. But in the end you'll see that I lose far too much of it uh, that I, I really wanted to keep. And I'm sort of fading these colors together and fading it over into the left but taking the, the masks and the stencils off so we can pull the print another layer of the print And here we go. Okay, let's observe some of these results. Um, I think I'm going to bring you some close-ups here, but I think it was successful at covering the white copy paper a little bit. Um, but I've lost the vermilion except for some little bits that are in the lower right quadrant. You can, you can see some of the metallics that are shimmering and peeking through the upper left. And I definitely want to keep those.
Now, here we are with the, the next arrangement of masks and stencils, um, especially that lower left quadrant. I'm wanting to keep that area that I really like. I know that's <laughs> not something that we often do when we're painting and things like that, but I am because we're printmaking here. I want to save what I've established there. And I know I have wiggly hands. <laughs> this layer I'm adding metallic gold and this time it's going to be a heavy body um, to paint metallic gold. And you'll see that it, it looks like a, various, a very generous application. But that's okay because I'm really wanting it to transfer well. And I'm going to be fading it also. I do want some of the gold metallic on uh, my right, the print's left side, even though that's what I've labeled as Fulton's, Fulton's side of the print, because I've primarily been working on one side, hoping to save more of what he established and what I would call, if I were painting, I would call it an underpainting. So here I'm dabbing a glob, but I really, really got a big glob of paint there. But I am fading this gold metallic across. And I'm offloading some of it so that I can have a more transparent um, application. And here I'm using a paper towel to sort of soften those edges where I have some hard edges. Ooh, there's a blob. <laughs> and I think I almost forget it. There it is. There's its stencil. Okay. Again, blotting. Okay, I'm back, and uh, one of the things I wanted to show you before I pull the print is um, I was offloading my gold metallic paint onto a piece of copy paper, and I just want to show you that sometimes I cut that and I make collage pieces that are made from that, that gold metallic paper paint on the paper and they they do quite well so just an idea there for you if you do mixed media collage and you want to add a few metallic elements to your collage okay here we go 
Moment of truth. Well, I think it is just too hot in my garage. That's all there is to it. But, I did get some metallic gold transfer and um, so in that regard it did it was successful and I didn't what I wanted to do on this side the reason that I wanted to fade it on this side was because to me this shape just kind of jumped out at you and it's right in the middle of the of the print and I didn't want the viewers eye to just go right to it Sim it seemed like that that's what was happening and I really liked this area and I felt that this area gave that area balance and uh, so there are some good things and there are some not so good things but that I'm pleased with and so all in all I learned a lot and I really appreciate everybody sticking with me and watching through this. And I, of course, am especially grateful to Fulton for sharing the print with me. So let me bring this closer so that you can see a little bit of detail. Um, let's see, where shall I show you? <laughs> oh my goodness. You can see the metallic uh, overlap in the in the ways that I was hoping for. Um, let me turn it around this way, maybe. And I have so many prints that I've done. What I need to do is I need to photograph them so that will be the next video or so I will be photographing all my prints so that you can see the results of <laughs> my labor but um, I'm, I'm really happy with that corner there that you see that, that whole bottom area I'm really happy with, but where I added the black collage and then I did the turquoise over the top of it, I'm, I'm really happy with that. So, okay, that ends my collaboration saga. Thanks for watching everybody. Okay, here we are again, and I believe it or not, I'm going to do another layer on this print from Fulton. I know I said I wasn't, I was finished, but after evaluating it over the weekend, I decided that I'm not finished. I want to introduce a little more black and maybe a little bit of vermilion. I there's so I want to introduce some more contrast. I have a lot of turquoise and I have some lights. I have some metallics, but I've lost the vermilion and I've lost sort of that coppery feel, but I have, I've lost the blacks. So I'm going to, I've masked off an area. There's a clear stencil here. And uh, so I'm just going to show you what my vision is for the for the print. So right now I'm going to add some black just a little bit because all I'm wanting to do is to add some black into these circles, fade the color out, and uh, I 
I want just a little bit of vermilion here. That's probably too much, but oh well. Here we go. Oh, my roller, my brayer is stuck. I guess I need to clean that off for sure. I think I wanted a little bit more black than vermilion, but that's okay. So now we're going to take these off. Those are some cute little stencils, aren't they? <laughs> I like stripes too. Almost threw that away. Okay, now you'll be able to see this clear stencil and the shapes that I'm wanting to introduce on the on the print and. Um, You can probably hear thunder in the background. We have storms today in my neck of the woods. Okay. Have I told y'all lately that I love printmaking? <laughs> this is just so much fun. I think the hardest thing for me to learn and to get in my head is thinking backwards, thinking in reverse, thinking opposite sides, side to side, and so forth. 
We're going to leave this about five minutes and then I'll come back. Again, it is warm here. It is a little humid, so maybe it won't dry out so badly today. It hasn't been quite five minutes, but I want to go ahead and see what's underneath. I, I just, I'm just, uh, I'm just excited to see what's happened under there. So I'm going to pull it from this direction today because I realized that I've been pulling it from the other direction so much and I don't want to stress that paper. Oh, I think I really like this. It did exactly what I hoped it would do. Yay. Okay. Now it's finished because I can truly say that I'm happy with that. What I wanted to do was I wanted to introduce some contrast, which it did. Um, and I wanted to introduce some more uh, some darker values. Uh, I wanted to introduce a little bit more linear work here. I wanted to contrast um, these shapes. Um, I just I, I wanted to have some more orb-like, round-like shapes, but more than anything, I wanted value value change, and I wanted to break up the turquoise. So, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for sticking it out with me. <laughs> 